Hi, Lead Boats for Life here. Thanks for joining my channel today. Okay, so today we're going to do another uh, 102 grain Lee round nose 9 millimeter series. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, uh, start off with bolts. And I made these last night. Uh, 250, 102 grain, 357 sized, and uh, powder coated with uh, Harbor Freight Red. One of my favorite harp colors. Anyways, um, I mentioned in my last video that I would uh, probably switch up powders and maybe reduce the powder from Unique. So uh, here we go. We have uh, Hotstones uh, HP38. And it's a very versatile powder. It's very equal to uh, Winchester Western 231. Same load data and all. And I felt that I needed a faster burning powder just to bring down the velocity from uh, 1250 from the Unique. You may be down to about 1100 to uh, maybe 1,050 in that range area there. So to make a good target load, you know, 15 to 25 yards. And so uh, we're gonna load some of this up with uh, 3.5 grains of uh, HP38 and a uh, 102 grain, which actually weigh out to be 105 grain, uh, round nose uh, bullet from Lee. And uh, we'll size these uh, cartridges to uh, 1.040. Um, from there, we will go ahead and do a test. I'll make about maybe 50 or so, and we'll do a test on the velocity and accuracy as well. And then from there, we'll determine whether uh, we need to up the charge or back the charge off a bit, you know, and to see what uh, how HP38 measures up as far as the accuracy and reliability department. Okay, so let's get started uh, making this ammo. All right, so here's an idea of what the uh, HP38 looks like. It's a flake powder, small flake powder kind of a greenish tint to it should meet her very well with the uh, Lee micro disc so we got 3.5 grains on the nose we'll start with that and work our way up Zero. and we got 1.41 1. good enough Okay, so <clears throat> I, would, I said that I would uh, feature a, um, a caliber out of the uh, Lima Cast Bullet uh, Manual. And so Ed uh, of 2-209 uh, sent in his uh, request for information on the Smith & Wesson 38 uh, in 200 grain. So I'm going to show him the uh, information. All right, so uh, here is the uh, 38 Smith & Wesson. And the 200 grain information is right here. A little history about the uh, 38 Smith & Wesson. And a few other calibers or weights of bullets as well. Okay, so it's off to the range and uh, yeah, that was for you. Uh, so hopefully that's information that I gave you uh, will help you. So we're off to the range right now, and uh, again we'll be uh, test firing the uh, Beretta 92 as a test gun, and uh, 102 grain Lee round nose with 3.5 grains of HP 38. So hopefully this will be a promising load. I did a lot of research on the load itself. They had 90 grain, they had 120 grain, they had 105 grain, and so I kind of like picked the middle one there, and then I went with the uh, uh, 3.5 grain uh, low for the end that end is like maybe 4.5 I think it was kind of kind of high so we'll start with the uh, 3.2 and uh, uh, see what kind of velocities and accuracy get out and now with a you know with a 4.9 inch barrel uh, I'm sure pretty sure it'll push it pretty pretty fast hopefully over a thousand feet per second under 1100 you know so here we go
Alright, another run. Uh, Accuracy. Uh, velocities are upper 800 to uh, 900. Uh, may have a bunch of charge of it. We'll do a new uh, check by string. Your trick is to CRISPR. But the stock one is not at all. Okay, point of aim is pretty good. Groups are pretty tight. Uh, velocity is a little too low for our work. So I think what I'll do is I'll put uh, maybe three points in range uh, on my next uh, turn. We're back from the range. Uh, another successful shoot again. Now let's talk a little bit about the load that I used today. Uh, 3.5 grains of uh, HP 38, 102 grain uh, Lee round nose bullet, and a 90 millimeter case. Um, function was not 100% reliable, guys. Uh, 3.5 grain was just not enough oomph to uh, bring back the slide all the way in the battery. So uh, I had about 80%, you know, uh, eject and fire. I had a few that uh, stove piped and failure to feed. So uh, for my next test, I'll go ahead and uh, bump the charge up to about maybe 3.8 to 4 grains and see how that does. Now the velocity was almost where I wanted it. So the 900 and a half to 890, uh, you know, it was a little sporadic. So I need to bump the charge up just a little bit more to get it to around maybe 1,050, just under 1,100. Accuracy, as you saw, was pretty good though. It was pretty much, you know, line of sight. Uh, Chewed us up pretty good. This is 30 rounds right here. You know, now if I didn't have the chronograph in the way, I'd probably get tighter groups, but I try to shoot through the chronograph and try to get us, uh, a better uh, uh, accuracy uh, target. But it's kind of hard to do when you're trying to avoid hitting the, uh, the chronograph screen. So this is the best I can do under the circumstances. Had I done it, you know, 
a solo, yeah, I could probably get those groups a little bit tighter. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another uh, review on the Lee 102 grain and the HP 38s. And uh, looking for that one sweet spot of a, sh of a cartridge, you know, to, for target shooting and for economical practice. Anyways, guys, Levels for Life here. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, if you want to see more, please rate and subscribe and make those comments, guys. Also, uh, again, I'll be doing more of the uh, 102 grain, maybe one or two more with the uh, Unique as well. So uh, uh, get those comments uh, coming in. You know, hey, I got 20 more subscribers left to I hit 1,000, okay? So I need uh, 20 more subscribers to hit 1,000. So... Uh, We'll see you at the next uh, video. Take care. Bye for now.